Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to the uh, weekly outlook. Glad to see so many of you in here. Please remember to share the link. You're going to help somebody who has not been finding it. And if you do, you you know you may get a thank you from them because there's a lot of traders who've been writing me asking for the link, and some of them, you know, like there are thirty thousand people out there searching for me. We know that, right? They they take time, but they find me eventually. As one person put in YouTube, he said, oh, finally I found it. I was like, well, what took you so long, right? <laughs> That's the thing, what took you so long? Let's go. So dollar index. Dollar index, we have a move down, but we have a lot of divergence. So if on the news just now, you guys took any sell, which means any buy on the euro or the pound, please be careful. They can all reverse. So what we're gonna expect, if you're gonna get a continuation, if you're gonna get a continuation of this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a pullback and then go right don't jump into any cell it's not ready on the euro you can see the euro we have two options we can look at two ways we can look at this let me give you the, 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 the big we're in an uptrend but we are at the top of an uptrend and remember they will always tend to pull back when they get to the top they'll pull back and they'll pull back right so i'm actually expecting one more move down here we made that one move down we're looking for one more move down before any continuation to the upside so what would it look like for this week like I said, if you just took any buy on this one, please move that to positive. Move your stops. Make sure you're not taking out for, for a loss. Get that trade to positive because there's a good chance that this goes up. But two things I'm looking at right now. Either this is the top of the structure and we are going down or this was all the correction as an expanding flat and we are going up. Either way, you will have to have confirmation of any one of those trades. Confirmation of this trade would be let it go, make a flag, and then buy. I'm looking at the divergence in the charts from all here and from this one, and I'm thinking this thing may not go very far, right? It could just break the top. Let them pull back. If they pull back as a correction, we will buy. If they reversed it, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if they reversed it, look for a flag and then we will sell. This one is the best trade. I would like to get the downside because it gives us a much better opportunity for a trade. The upside might not give such a big opportunity, but the downside is going to give us a very nice trade. On the Pong, very similar structure. We looked at this on the four hour. We're actually going down. We know we have a big correction to make. Let me show you that on the daily so you can see the, the big trade and then you can decide where the shorter trade should be. We're in a big correction and we are heading for the downside. So although we had a, a spike on the one hour just now, that does not change the structure, right? Just to show you, go back to the four hour. If we're gonna go down, this thing needs to go down much more than it is going down right now. So all of you remember this trade and I hope all of you took profit because you were supposed to take profit somewhere here. So I hope all of you took profit in that trade last week, right? because that was a trade call. So what would be the trade for this week? I'm still looking for another sell. So let's go back in the, this pattern and see. We actually have a short sell setup. You forget to close it. You, you have to, when you see all of this, if you forget to close it on this spike, I would go with you. But once this came down, you're closing your trade because there was a buy setup there. It becomes a break even. That's a lot of to give up. Uh, when you see a spike like this, you got to watch it. You know, that giving, that's giving up a lot. So let's see what will be the trade for today. So look at this. We got a break out here. This is not going very aggressive, but it's also not going up. So what you want is a little flag here. Let it make a flag, and then you can look for a sell setup. Well, what was a flag look like? I think by now everybody knows what a flag looked like. This is a good example. There are many more. This is a good example. That was a very short-term trade. That should have been your break-even. That is a break-even for us in our trading room. Here is another flag. See this piece here? Here, here? This was a sell setup. That's a nice flag. Remember, this was your pattern you were supposed to sell. So right here, if you're going to get a sell setup, look for one of that. They're making a flag right now. They're in the making, in the process. Don't jump into it. They're going to do this, and they'll probably do this for a while, and then you get a nice small flag for a sell setup. So I'm looking for a sell setup on this, which means the Euro, the Oz, the New Zealand can reverse, right? Wait for that break, and then you'll get the trade. If you think it's going to go pretty fast, if there's another news event, use an entry order. So Aussie, we're in this big, 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 big daily structure. Let me show you guys. I think I've shown you a number of times, like more than more than 100 times, I would say. And it's still in that structure. 
So two things we look for when we see a structure like that. We look for this to come back to the low and then go, or this to actually break out of the structure and go. As it is right now, if this is an uptrend trying to break out, we're expecting this four hour to come down one more. That is one, two, three. One, two, three. Come back here and then go up. So that would give you your buy signal. So what I'm looking for right now, what I'm expecting to happen this week is a sell signal. I'm expecting this to break down before they break that up. This part to break down and we're looking for this sell, right? So is it going to happen? Now, if I'm wrong about that, I will not get the trade because I'm looking to sell it somewhere here. When it break, give me a flag and then I'll sell. So if I'm wrong and this goes up, then this way here has to pull back and make a flag here. And I would take that trade up there, move it to break even and see if they break that up. If they don't break that up, I'll move it very, very tight to take profit. But I don't normally trade for such short, short trades. That would be a break-even trade for me. My trade is if they go down, I get a trade all the way to this low. Right? So for me, that's a trade that will go into break-even if it doesn't go. So right now, wait. I think it's reversal time. Watch it. No need to worry. You wouldn't get a trade here for the next 12 hours. So you don't have to worry for the next 12 hours. If it goes for the next 12 hours, it's going without you. That's not a trade. Right? That's just one candle, a couple of candles moving. Your trade has to be based on very strict rules. Same to you, Eid Mubarak to all of our uh, Muslim friends here. So watch this, right? Watch this here. Let's go. New Zealand, same here. You know this, we have a lot of divergence. Look at these two, right? See the divergence there? We are breaking the top. We are looking for a reversal point from there. Right, That should give us a reversal point from there. So let's see if we get it. If they break the top, remember I showed you there was a downside we, was look, we were looking for last week. When they come to this level, we're looking for a downside. There is a possibility for them to tag that level and then come down. Right? We're still going to look for divergence in here. Right? We're going to look for the one-hour divergence, four-hour divergence, which we are getting already. You can see the divergence in there. So if they tag that top, they're going to come. Now, I don't think they're going to tag the top because if they tag the top, we actually will have a buy setup this week. So what will be the buy setup for us? Let this here pull back to this level and then we take the trade. Make a nice flag, a small flag, one hour flag, and then we buy, right? If we get the one hour flag, we buy. If we don't get a one hour flag, this break will have to reverse. If they break this top, then we look for this trade. You can put an entry and go for that trade, right? Once they tag here, get out for profit. That is a level from where it can fall, right? This structure is not ready to go up totally as yet. So when they get to that level, that's, that's you see, we have two lines there, right? That is a level where we can expect them to fall from. I don't think they will break this top. So let's keep an eye from them. We get a flag, we buy. They reverse, make a flag, we sell, right? So one out of the two is going to be valid. US yen, anybody took the buy here? Any one of you took that trade? We took it and we closed it. Nice trade. Took it last week, closed the trade here. None of you took that. That's a nice trade we took in our trading room. I'm expecting it to come down, so I'm looking for a short-term sell set up here and then up again, right? This, this is very short-term. I don't think this trade will take very long. We're looking for a three-wave pattern. Let me show you guys what, what I'm looking for. See, we have one, two, three. We look for one. We are making one to let them come back here and then go up. This is a trade. We'll be looking for a buy from there. Buy this for one more up. Right? How far that up will go, we will see when they come to this top. They can break the top or they can don't break the top. Right? As you see, this can come and break the top. Making one, two, three three so you want that buy setup if you miss there's a very small sell setup you might not get it but don't miss the buy setup and that could happen this week let me go through back it right first i'm going to pull this to the top here so you can see it and i'll go downwards i'll go backwards four hour you want to get the trade not from where it is from somewhere here so if you if you don't know how to trade that wait for them to break this structure let it come here first, go back up, break that structure, and then you look for that trade. 
all of that could happen this very week. Right? I'm hoping it's a three wave pattern and not a five. It could be a five. In that case, you will not get a breakout. But if you buy it at the bottom, if you manage to, to, to get a good buy setup somewhere here and they come back to the top, this would be the top. They come back to the top. You can put that trade to break even, right? Like we bought this and I actually exit the trade there. But in this case, you put that to break even and you will see if they're coming down back or if they go. Right? So this can go a lot. Go down to 6 to 1. What do you mean? Uh, you're talking about 6 to 1 to the upside? Yes, it can get there. It can get higher. If you mean uh, one twelve six to 1 or whatever you're saying, I'm not sure what you mean by 6 to 1, but this can go up. So first you look for a short sell setup. Very short. They may barely break this low. Like I said, you might not get the sell setup, but you will definitely get the buy setup. The buy is the longer trade you're looking for, not the sell. Cat. Cat is messing with everybody, right? Cat is like when it's gonna go down. So let me give you some rundown on what the cat could do, because now you guys are gonna freak out. It could get much more complex than we think. This is the daily uptrend, and remember, trend lines doesn't really mean very much. They're very, they mean very little at this point, right? We are here. Two things could happen right now. They break this trend line, and we actually start a very big downtrend. For that, we would like to see them break and pull back like this, then go. You will get a very deep pullback here. Or they break this trend line slightly and they start to reverse back to the top. Now, how would we know which one they're going to do that? That is what you call wave analysis. You come down here. How many of you got that cell? That was a cell in our trading room. The cell we definitely got. Almost all of us, a lot of us got this cell set up. I think a lot of you should have got that cell set up. You don't want it better than this. This is perfect sell setup, right? The buy setup, when we were in the trading room here for this buy, we actually didn't take this one to the upside. We took the New Zealand cat to the upside and another one, I wouldn't, some one of my traders could remind me, I can't remember. Two of them we took to the upside and we said, but this one, we actually hope it was gonna go down. So we actually skipped on the upside on this one, but we took it to the, down, the, the downside if it had gone. And we took the New Zealand cat. So most of us got the New Zealand cat trade. In this case, we made three waves up, but they never broke the top. And that is telling you something, right? When it doesn't break the top, we don't know what they're going to do right now because they can come break this low here slightly and go right back to break the top, right? So... For us to get a long-term trade, and we really want a long-term trade, we want them to break this low, make a flag, and then we will sell. Not even a flag, more like a correction. And then we would look for a sell setup, right? If we give you not a, such a big flag, it's okay. You can take the sell setup once you get it. Put it to break even when they come to this low. Because if they come to that low and break that low, if they come here, give you a flag, and you get this trade, and they break this low, they can either go very fast or they will start a deeper pullback. So the worst case scenario is you get a very small profit or you get a break even trade, right? But there is a chance that if they don't break this low and they come here, they can go up back for another three wave or even all the way back to the top because we're in a very, very huge con uh, and very huge consolidation. So watch this trade. If you're in the cell, some of my traders in the cell, you want to move into profit now. Right, those of you who were in this morning who said you're in the trade, move that to profit. Wait for this. It could break, it could reverse. But before they reverse, I think they will tag the low. They will definitely try to tag this low, then reverse. Right? My traders know why. We always look for them to do that. So let's see which of that they do. We wouldn't get a trade here for the next six to eight hours. Maybe tomorrow you'll get a trade. If they break and make the flag. Swiss. Swiss made a move up. Right, we got a breakout of this this morning, made a move up, come right back down, and we are in this structure. And if this is any indication of what could happen, let me go into four hour. If this is in any indication of what could happen, this is what could happen. It's going to come down a little more here, and then we're going to probably get that trade. Right, so it's going to break this low, come a little, and then you're going to look for that trade. So remember this. One, two, three, up back to the top here, maybe. Let's go backwards. Look at the CAD. 
What are the chance the cat comes here, break this low, and come back all the way to the top here? Or the yen breaks this low and go all the way to the top there? See? So if this is going to do this, if the cat is going to go up and the Swiss is going to go up, what do you expect Euro to do? You can expect Euro to come down. You can expect Aussie to come down. You can expect New Zealand to come down. And you can expect Pong to come down. Right? Now, all of these downsides is the trades we will probably get this week if they happen. If all of those trades happen, those are the trades we would look for this week. If they happen. If they don't happen, you wait until you get confirmation of the opposite side and then you trade it. Right? But technically, those are the trades that we can see right now. So let's see which one of them work and how they work, right? So let's wait. Don't, don't jump into them. If you're already in them, that's a little too early. You wait for these confirmations and then take the trade. Especially if you're new to trading, make sure you wait for those confirmations. Because, and the reason you're looking for that is because the upside, this thing was going up for a while. And when they go up for a while, they tend to come back. And if they're going to go, then they go. So we want to see this come back here and then go. Right? They always do, by the way. Right? This is the biggest structure. Right? Let me just show you that. This is the biggest structure. So if this is your first move up and this is your pullback and this is going to go, let it come back at least at this distance and then go. Right? You notice this one went up, they pull back and then go. They pull back and then they go. They pull back and then they go. Let this pull back to about here and then it can go. So we're, look, we're expecting this trade here. That's the minimum if they're going to go up. Oh, okay, great. We, we are in the punk cat trade. That is one of my traders telling me the punk cat sell is going good. We'll come to that just now. We're in that sell. Very nice sell this morning, All right? So let's go, watch these trades. Let's go now to, we finish the majors. Euro Oz, you're getting a buy setup. I think I don't even have to elaborate on this, right? You're getting a buy setup. Wait for it to break. Remember when this was going, I said, guys, you wait for the pullback, you wait for the pullback, and then you take the trade. This is your trade. You're in New Zealand. This one is not going so aggressive. This one is actually, you see, it's, it's just sitting here this morning. We're looking at this and no trade setup, no trade setup. Leave it alone. It's still in the downtrend and it's not very clear what it's doing, right? Leave it until they break. I'm not looking for a sell. Euro chief. Okay, this one went up to the top. Let's see if we're gonna come down back. Nope, you can look for breakout, right? You can look for breakout here. We'll probably get a trade to that level, right? You, you see this? This is not hard to guess what they're gonna do, right? They make a move up, pull back. They make a move up, pull back. What you expect them to do? Make one more up. This would be a nice trade. Wait for a flag or a consolidation or something before you get into that trade. Right? Don't jump in the trade too fast. If they're going to keep, I don't see this keep going down. They'll probably make one more up and then come down. If they're going to keep going down, you don't have a trade set up as yet. You have to wait for them to break this top, reverse, make a flag, and then sell. See? We'll get to that next week if, if they go. You're a cad. I think you will get one more trade up. I'm looking at this. This is not coming down aggressively. So at some point, I think we could get one more up and then the downside. Right? If you're going to look for a sell only under this here. But more upside is likely. Watch for a breakout. That could be a nice trade to the upside. Euro Pong, one more up. So let me show you the Euro Pong structure, how that changed. We took off the sell we had for profit. And I'm looking at this pattern here. See this? I think they will come back here. They'll go tag the top and then the big move comes. All of you remember that, right? Let me just show you, remind you a little what we're looking for. We sold it from the top here. We closed the trade somewhere here. We're still in that mess. It's not going down. If it was an aggressive move, we would be in a good trade. So the reason I think it's going to come here is going consolidating, come here, go there, and then come down. Right? Nothing has changed in this structure. If you're following me, this thing has been here for over a month or more. This thing has been here since it was here. 
that up move, this down move, this move, that structure still remains there. We will still get this big trade to the downside. Actually, if that goes this week, we will, we will have a ton of money in that trade. And there's a reason for that. We're using a strategy that will really, really create money for you. If they go, come back here, go to the top and then start to fall. We want it to happen this week or next week, and we're going to make a lot of money on that. Right? In any case, we can't lose on this trade. We already make some money, and we're going to make a lot more. We can't lose on it. No matter what this trade does right now, we can't lose on it. That's an amazing strategy. Remember I told you we have a strategy where sometimes it doesn't matter if it goes up or down, we still make money. Well, this is one of that strategy. We can't use it every time, but this is one of it. Where no matter what happens to this trade, if it falls down right now, if it goes up, we still make money. No, it's not hedging. If, hey, hedging is simple. I wouldn't be telling you that if it was hedging, right? It has nothing to do with hedging. This is a strategy nobody's using. Absolutely nobody in the world will give you that strategy. And the reason they can't give you the strategy is because they don't look at the charts the way we look at the charts. It has to do with the way we look at the charts. That is what creates a strategy, right? And if you can't do it the way we do it, you can't use that strategy. Even if I tell you, you can't use it, right? It's amazing, right? I know you guys want to know what it is. And that's the whole point, right? But only my traders could know that. How can you make money about this and don't hedge? Well, that's that's interesting thing, right? How can you make money both ways and don't hedge? Because we don't hedge. It's a spot trade. It's not a hedge, right? That is the amazing thing. You're going you're gonna to learn it. I'm pretty sure you guys will learn it. Don't worry. Euro yen, it's not based on a hedge. Let me put it that way. We're not hedging. We're putting, okay, let me don't go too far. That's enough of it. Euro yen, watch the euro yen. It's in a very big sideways move, right? We broke this here. We, we broke this structure, remember? And we were expecting more upside. But you notice this one had a three-wave structure, right? One, two, three. So you have one. The question is the two over, and are we going for the three? I think right now, no, not as yet. It's not over. There's a good chance that this piece comes down back. Remember last week we looked at it and we said, you know, I don't like this to be the C wave. I think this is an A, a B, and a C here. We come back to the low, and then we go. So what you guys can look for is what happens here. If you get a flag or if you're in the buy, if any one of you in the buy, you move it to break even, move it to profit, see how far it goes. And if they go very aggressively above here, any pullback we buy, this would be the trade we'll be looking for. If they come down to the bottom here, we would look for a sell and then we'll be buying it because I do think they were going to come down once more, right? Come on, guys, don't guess. You can't, you can't guess that strategy. Here's, if I tell you nobody in the world is using it, you can't guess it. Because even if you try to Google it, you wouldn't find it. Right? It's a combination of more than one strategy that makes it so. Put it there. All those strategies are out there, but it's a combination of more than one that creates that. Right? So it's not like a single strategy. It's a combination of strategy that creates that, which means you will not be able to guess it. Yes, it has to do, exactly, let's put it that, it has to do with the ability to find where the reversal points will be. That's the most you get. Don't ask for more, let's go. Uh, pong Oz, hey, why is my Pong Oz here? Okay, great. Euro Yen, you're supposed to have the Euro Pong before that. Oh, the Euro Pong is above, yes. Pong Oz, let's look at this. We were in the buy last week, most of you remember, we closed it this morning. And we bought here and I closed it exactly there. I think about three pips lost, I closed it. <laughs> based, based on a pin bar. That's a good one. I like it. So we closed because we realized that this is not going. I think all of you can see it. This is not going anywhere. So we decided to close it and wait. We also were in the Pong New Zealand, which we closed also this morning. I actually closed this for profit because I bought it here and I closed it here. So I closed this one for profit. Then the Pong was I closed for break even. I don't count those trades because that wasn't the trade we were trading. Just to show you, but that wasn't the trade. I wasn't trading for this. I was trading for it to come here, right? This was my trade. That I consider those break-even trades. So let's go. What is the trade? The trade is still the move to the upside. So this one, if it comes, what I wanted to do now is I wanted to come and break this low and then turn. I'm not interested in a sell. Remember, this is a low. You're not, this is a top. That is where your sell was. We took that sell and we closed it somewhere in here, I think. 
Somewhere in here, we got taken out. This is the trade you're looking for. And it is still the same trade. Yes. A lot of you did that. Great. So all my traders should have closed theirs for profit because we did it this morning in the trading room. So look for this. This one, I want it now to come and break the low. Because if they don't break the low, they put me in trouble. I want them to break the low. And then our next trade will come on this one here. If it doesn't break the low, we buy on the breakout here. We buy on this breakout, right? Because that will mean that we've made, we have just made a, a big correction in here. See this here? This will become a big correction. Your impulse, one, two, three correction, and then up. Buy here. Buy this for sure. Don't miss this trade. This trade has good potential. If they break the low, that confirms what I want them to do. Break the low and then turn. I would try to get the trade somewhere here on an impulse. And just like I bought this one, right? I'll try to get the trade. So let's see which they give us. I want them to break the low first. Don't sell it. I'm not going for a sell. Oz, Pong Oz, very similar. But I don't think the Pong Oz will break the low. They will just come down and they can come down some more. I can see them coming down some more. And then we'd look for the breakout for a buy. Right, so let it consolidate. You notice I already have one on the, I have that line there. If they go back to break the line, I'll be buying. But I don't think they're gonna break that line so fast. They'll probably pull back, down some more, pull back, down some more, and then we'll get something like this, and then we'll get the buy. I'm interested in the buy, not these short-term sells. Right, so it can go more down, but I'm not interested in the sell because, I, like I show you, it's in a, it's it's down here, right? It's down here, and we want this to go back like that. We want this move up. And then we would look for the sell. So there is a buy setup to come here before you get the sell. There is a buy setup. And it's going very slow like this one actually went. If you look back, if you go and look at the candles, very similar, right? This one here. Uh, where was it? Sorry. Let me bring yeah, they, this piece up here, right? You see that they made a move, then they pull back, pull back, pull back. They made another move, pull back, made them, you know, pull back eventually before you get a trade. Here is your trade. This was, this was the buy setup. I think all of you remember that. So it depends on how this comes down. We want it to go up first, then come down. We would look for the buy. We would look for the sell. And then we'll see what happens at the bottom here. Right? So put this in the four hour. Don't take the sell. I don't think the sell is ready. We're not looking for a sell from there. Take this off. That was where we bought it. And that's where we closed it. Right? It didn't move anywhere. So wait for some consolidation. And then we look for it. You don't see the screen anymore. Anybody else having that problem? If you don't see, see the screen, put a Y. If you see it, don't answer. Just put a Y if you don't see the screen. Okay, so it's probably just his site. Somebody please tell him to log off and log on back. Pong Yen, right? Pong Yen, we're looking for a cell setup. I think you can see that already. We're looking for a cell setup. I would like them to come and break this top first and then come down. Even if they don't break the top, we're still looking for a sell setup, right? Even if they don't break the top, we're looking for a sell setup. I think all of you know this pattern, right? And you see it in the Pong Yen before, right? I think if any one of you here don't, haven't seen that pattern before, don't know what it is, they be squeezed, yes. So if any one of you haven't seen, that's what it looks like. So we're looking for that trade. I would like them to squeeze their way up to the top here and then break. All right? This is a nice trade. Keep that trade in mind because we are looking for bigger potentials. We're expecting them to break lower. Right? We're expecting them to break and tag this low. By the way, here is it. One, two, and you see that tree squeeze there? Very similar. We're looking for this trade down to the bottom there. All right? So... Keep your eyes on this. I hope it happens this week so all of us can get some nice trade on this here. Watch this to come here. That is the trade we are looking for. You will take it first to this level. If they break the top first, here is, here is an important. If they break the top first, they will come here. If they don't break the top and you get the trade, when it comes to this level, move it to profit. Right? If they don't break the top. If they break the top, they're going. That's it. So we want them to break the top. I actually want them to break the top. Right? Be careful. The reversal may be starting on those majors. So watch your trades. Right? Punkat, we're in this cell. We're in this cell from here this morning. And at this level, we put it now to break even. Right? So what is the trade? We're not trading that little piece, right? Don't don't think that is a trade. That's not the trade we're looking for. 
We're expecting this to break out here and come down to about this level. And if we're lucky, and it goes, we're expecting them to come to tag this low. Right, you see that they're in a downtrend, pull back, a downtrend, pull back. If they go, they'll come here or maybe even go lower. So the question, is it going now? We don't know that, right? But we're in the trade. And if we're lucky, they go now. If we're unlucky, this is what they will do. They will stop somewhere here and they'll go back up again and then go down. The bigger trade is to the downside. We'll sell it again from the top. And if they do this and go back up, we'll sell it again from the top because we're looking for a big trade to the downside, not the upside. So what we do to trades like this is we put them to break even, although that is, you know, that's a lot of pips. We, uh, that's not the trade we're looking for. So this trade was taken with a stop above this stop. So you can see we are already about two to one in this trade, but we are going for a nine to one, 10 to one trade. If it goes, it's gonna give us 10 to one to this 270. And if we're lucky, it goes probably much more, right? That is the trade. So just keep it, all my traders, those who took it this morning, just keep it, don't worry. Let's see how far it goes. When it comes to this level, we'll see. The worst happens is we get break even, right? So, Pung Chief, you are gonna get a trade set up here. You can see that. Let it break, make a little flag, and then take the trade. When it comes to this level, put it to break even. They didn't break the top, put it to break even. Aussie Yen, look for sell setups. If you're in the buy, if any one of you are in the buy, move it to break even. If they break this top, we're gonna get divergence and they're gonna reverse. I don't think they'll break the top. They could, but I don't think they will. But if they do break it, they'll do this and then they'll start to come back down. You're gonna get one more down. So we're looking for a sell setup. I will not take a buy setup here as yet. Notice this line, I'm looking for a sell setup. So wait, this is a long one. You have to wait for this trade. New Zealand, yeah, this one is making higher high. This is a little unexpected. I did not think they'll go so high. I'll show you why. If you look at the daily structure, we thought we were gonna have like one, two, three to about this level and then downside. Well, they're going much higher than we expected and that could be a change in the structure, see? When they go that high, it's no longer making a flat. So that may be a change in the structure. Take this off. But I'm not, you shouldn't be interested in the buy here because you want them to pull back. And then we take the buy. Because if, you, if you're gonna confirm your buy, let them make a pullback, well, not like that, something like this, for example. Let them pull back something like that. You want to pull back like that to confirm one like this, see? Let them pull back to confirm the buy setup, right? So it may be going up. That might be going up a lot more than we think, but wait for the pullback. So what will give you the trade? Let them pull back like this, and then you'll get a trade set up. Don't buy into it right now. Yeah, it's, it, we thought that was making an AB squeeze. It's not confirmed, but it's looking like that. And then we'll see what happens here. If it reverses or if they continue to go. But this structure is changing. It's not much of a squeeze right now. Swiss Yen, stay out of this. A cell setup is, is, is forming here. You can see that. See that piece? They may crawl up a little more, but then they're gonna come down. So I think stay out of it. Kadian. I'm looking for a sell setup. Very similar structure to the Pong Yen, right? You see this? We had one up, we had one, two, three down, we made another one up and we were expecting this to come down. At least retest the low, right? So go in a one hour. We broke the uptrend and we are making one, two, three. If they don't break that top and they break this low sell, right? So we're looking for this sell setup here come down here and probably all the way to this low. So this is a good sell. You wanna focus on it. If CAD goes up some more, we, this sell is gonna be amazing, right? So keep your eyes on this sell. It's not a buy setup where it is. New Zealand CAD, you may get a sell set up here. We, we got break even in this trade, we sold it here. Came down, went right back up, took us out to break even, came down back going up again not confirming the upside because you're, it's in the daily, it's still in a sideways move. See that? We're still in a sideways move. I just don't like the way the sideways move is going anymore. And we don't have any trade set up. There's a short 
very short term buy setup here. I really don't like it, so I'll stay out of it, right? Because they haven't broken this stop, so I'm not. I'll wait. I'll skip this one for now. Aussie Cat, you're getting a buy setup, and you can actually take this buy setup. It has a cat in it. I don't think it's the Aussie, but if Aussie is going to make the trade, that's okay. You can take this buy setup here. Wait for it to break, confirm your trade, and then you can look for this one here. Right, that trade is very possible. Four hour. See? This trade could come back not only to this level, but to this level. Right, it could go way back to this top, even this top. So that trade is worth taking, right? Which is it gonna make the trade go? Either the cat or the Aussie, I have no idea. One of them will definitely go, but it looks like a buy setup. What do you mean confirm your trade? That depends on what strategy you're using to trade. Confirming the trade means you have to know how you're gonna trade it, what is your strategy? And to take a strategy, you have to have done like a hundred of those trades, back test them, test them, and then you can see where it's going to go. Right? That you have to know that. Otherwise, don't trade it. Because you would have no idea how to manage the trade. And that is what is the most important thing. How do you manage your trade when you're in it? Aussie, New Zealand. So here is what all of you can do. All of you can put an entry order at the bottom here when it comes but first you get a sell set up to this level and this will be one hell of a trade to the upside let me just show you that one daily i'm on the daily oh yeah let's go squeeze it some more so we have been waiting for this up trade like forever right we had an impulse and we said okay this should go and then it came down back and we said this should go and then it goes there and it comes down back and this one will definitely go why would this one go? Because there is no more structure in the correction unless this thing is going to make one of those punk cat structure, which is very, very complex. But hey, we bought it here. We bought it here and we will buy it here again, right? We will buy every time they come back to this low. So this trade, we are going to expect to go out of the structure. This should be one hell of a trade. I mean, a really big trade. So first we wanted to complete it by coming to the low here. Let me put this in a four hour. There's a nice short trade for you guys here. They will likely tag the low because we were expecting them to. I expect them to tag the low. That will complete the pattern. So they have to come tag the low and then we look for buys, right? So we will be buying. I can guarantee you that, that we will be buying and we'll be buying a lot of it, right? So we already have orders to buy. I can't tell you where and how. All right, so watch this trade to come down here. It's gonna hit this low, it's gonna turn, and that could happen in a news event whereby they may go like this and do like that. So you have to be in the trade, right? You have to have your own strategy to trade that. I can only show you the direction and what I think the structure will do, right? But this is what we were expecting now. This one did not go, this came back down, gave you a break even trade, and now we see what happens there, right? Where you can learn that strategy from? Very good question. Somebody please answer that question for, who is it? Elsha? I hope I got your name correct. Somebody please tell Elsha where, where, I think that's a she, I hope. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. You can Skype me. Just give them my Skype to learn that. So one fellow went on my YouTube uh, video. Remember I told you guys, well, this is going to come down a little more. And he said, but this guy is saying buying, buying. Why is he saying it's going to go down? Well, good, because we want to buy more. Actually, we had an entry order here this morning that did not get tagged, and we were like, darn, man. I just wish that was, we haven't, you see those blue lines? No secret, those are entry orders. Those are entry orders to buy silver. No sell. Those are entry orders to buy silver, right? So we almost got tagged in this one. This, this is a fake one. This one is not right. That, that's something in, in their, their pro. But this one came here. It came just short of our entry order, man. So what we're going to do now is we're going to watch this to buy again. We're going to add more. We are in the buys and we will take more buys. That you should start buying when they break out of here. Let it break out and then you look for your trade to the upside. Right? 
So you definitely want to look for buys in this. We're at a low. Right? So, but you'll have to build your own strategy. I would repeat it next year. If you come and watch me again next year, you will hear me say you have to build your own strategy. Right? So watch this. This is this is this is amazing trade if it goes from here, right? That's a buy setup. If they come back here, we buy some more. Basically. All right, so let's see. Yep, this is still possible to go down. Where can it go? I think I've repeated this this chart like about a thousand times. Where will it go from here? It's gonna go to 14. We will buy. If it comes to below this level, I will add more trades. Now, the reason I don't have entry order here is because I'm not so optimistic that it's gonna go so low. And I said optimistic, not pessimistic. I would be one happy person if it comes here. I'm seriously, if silver comes here, I'm making a million dollar and more, literally. It's not going to go there. I wish it does, right? But it's not going to go there. It simply wouldn't go there, right? So I'm not so optimistic. That is why we have the entry orders here. So let's see if this goes. This is what it's going to be because we're going to be buying so much silver, right? It's just what the structure is doing. There is a chance they will go there, but I don't think they're going to go there anymore. I think they're going to go up, come break this top. We'll take some profit and then we'll see what happens at that level. Right at this level, what it's going to do, it's going to do two things at this level. When they break this top, they can attempt the low again. They can make another attempt at the low here and then go up or they can just continue to go. Either way, we will be in profit. Right? I don't think they're going to do that. Based on the structure, I don't see them going back to tag the low, right? Because this might be, this might just be the first impulse to the upside. So what we are in here now is a correction. I don't know if the B wave here is over. Right, this might be the B wave, but I think they can come here, come back low, and then go, making this the B wave before they go. Right, a more complex pattern in the middle that's a possibility, and that's what we we're expecting. So, anytime they come into this area, we buy. And if you know how to trade it, anytime they come in that area, you should be buying. Gold, very similar. I think gold might come a little more lower. We were expecting gold to tag this low also and then go back, I think you can all see why, and then go up, right? By now, all of you know how these patterns move, right? So we wanted to come here and then go back up. Now they might not get to that level. They could go up without tagging it, but it would be good for us if they do this and then go. For those of you who trade gold, this would be a nice buy opportunity. Look for the buy somewhere in here and then go up, right? If You, you don't have to look far for that pattern. Here is it. Let me show you it. And for us, that was a buy setup, right? See, and it's not about trend line because if you're looking at a trend line, you'd said, oh, they broke the trend line. Let's go sell some, right? If you're looking at this and say, oh, sell, gold broke the trend line. Let's go sell, right? And I think a lot of people were selling and, I, and some people would say, oh, they broke, they broke my um, support line. Let's go sell. And I was like, no, don't do that crazy stuff because it's going back up. Same thing here, they will come break your support line, they'll break whatever more they break that you have, your trend line, and then they're gonna go up. Because those lines are insignificant, they're not telling you what do you, you're using them the wrong way, let's put it that way. If you use trend lines as parallel trend lines, you're using them wrong. Never use parallel trend lines, you'll never see parallel trend lines on my, um, on my chart. Because you can see, this thing does not move between two parallel trend lines. If you just can't look at the charts and see that, Stop trading. I'm serious. If you can't look at this chart and see that it's not moving between two parallel trend lines, don't trade. Because you don't have a clue what you're doing. And that is not what it doesn't move between parallel trend lines. They make patterns. And the reason we use those lines is for patterns. Most time you will see a single line in it, not, not double. Rarely you'll see double. Most time you'll see a single line. And these lines are not parallel. You notice? They're not parallel. There's a reason why we don't keep them parallel right? Because they will never be parallel. That's not how the chart moves. It doesn't move between parallel lines. You know, it would be amazing if it does that, right? But it doesn't. That's just simple. So watch this. Some more down and then up or they start going up and you can buy. US oil came down some more and it's probably going to go down some more. Remember, we're saying sell, sell. At this point, I thought they'll go up, but they didn't break out. They drop a little more and now they came back. So you will look for a sell again, right? Same with the UK oil. 
you can look for a sell opportunity again. One more sell. Be careful of these sells because they're at the bottom. Sell, take profit because they can turn at any point, right? Natural gas, stay out of it for a while. It didn't go down and it's coming back up. So let's wait and see what it's doing. I don't think anything is here and I don't think anything is here. Oh, actually, this is a good sell setup. Yep. Wait for it to break here and then look for a trade back to the low. All right? You can, you know, when it comes to about 50%, you can turn this fib around when it comes to about 50%. Put it to break even or put it into profit. All right? But I'm looking for this trade down. Aussie Chief, also a sell setup. We're looking for this to come back down here and make a sell setup, right? Uh, okay, this one is this one is being a little difficult. We're looking for a sell. It's not going. They went higher. We're looking for a sell here where they're going higher again. If they keep going higher, what you'll do is you'll pull a channel here, right? So we saw this coming and we said, if they keep going up, what you do is you'll get a channel like this. So it's not going to be a very good buy setup. Come on. Take this out. It's not going to be a very good buy, but you can wait for a, a sell because every time they make channel like these, they break. Right, so I, I, that's an aggressive move to sell from the top of the channel. I will not do that. It's very aggressive, but I'll wait for the break because once they break that, it's going to go probably right on this. I should be able to show you more of those channel. I think you can see not quite the channel there. I was trying to remember where else, but there, you know, you start seeing those channels once they're about to turn, you start making them. And then you look for the, you know, look for the downside. So there's a downside coming in this very soon. Those, those up move are very short and we are at a very, 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 very top. So I think you gotta be very careful, right? People may say it's going up, but if you look at it, it's not really going anywhere. They're just bouncing up and down in a small channel, right? This is the trade you want. Because when they bounce up and down in a small channel, this is when it's going. That is, it's moving. And this is moving and you know, this is consolidation. They move and then they start to consolidate to the top, they're gonna to come down. Anytime you start to see that consolidation at the top there, you're looking for a sell setup, right? So wait for that trade, let's go. Bitcoin, somebody wanted Bitcoin. I told you, you don't wanna be the last person to take profit in this, right? I think it's going to go down some more, at least come back, retest this low. There is a chance they will test the top. And if you get into any buy here, watch for the big fall, right? I would not be buying it. I'll, you can look for sell setups. As of this, this, this week, you should get some sell setups. They'll probably come back, retest this low. Do like this, drop, do like this, drop. And then you can see whether they're going to retest the top, right? But as of this week, I think you can look for sell setups. Nifty, for those who trade it, you're looking for sell setups. They're breaking. So sell setups, wait for flags, wait for them to come back to about this level. So wait for some flags and wait, because this is a channel we're talking about, very similar to the one they're making. When they start a channel like that, they break. Right? Now, Nifty, you want to wait for the flag, because if you don't get a flag, if you don't get a flag, this one could go back up one more, right? Just coming out of the channel a little doesn't mean anything. Let them confirm the trade by making a correction and drop. What else? Copper, nothing there to do. DAX, similar structure, very similar. This one will definitely come down, right? There's no question about this. Look for that cell setup. Don't miss it, right? Don't miss that cell. You see what they're doing at the top there? It's kind of going like this. And then you get a drop. You get a very sudden drop on that. Let me see if I can find one of that again in this chart. It might not be a perfect one, but you can see a few of them here. You see when they started to do that consolidation at the top there? This is not a big drop, but you do get them. This, you may not see that very much, but if you go on lower time frame, you're gonna see that that thing is telling us it's gonna come back, at least to the trend line. So you can prepare yourself for this trade. Because the top there, there's nothing to do. There's no buy setup in it for our. 
you're in that channel looking structure see and that thing tends to break to the downside you can put an entry order in the low for the breakout yes that makes sense let's go what else you guys look at okay this one is coming down we are actually expecting this to go up let's see it's it's pulling back pretty deep but i don't think they'll break this low they may pull back deep here and then make one more up here because we're looking at this structure from this point see they had this pattern in here already i'll change the color so you can see which one i'm showing you one two three right so we have one we're expecting two here and we were expecting three there before they come back down right like that so i think we're going to get a buy setup soon wait for this is going to pull back and make that move they do move very aggressively with within the structure right you see like this it wasn't just a straight line up right they did make pull back go there make pull back may pull back and make that move this is the move we're looking for so it might drop a little more but it's going to go up because you can see you already have one already have two and we're in the third one right so this might just you pull back and continue to go there those of you who traded can watch that uh what else somebody want what ethereum usd eth if we have that here usd let me check this for you mm -hmm. that's a big fall let's see Oh, this thing went up like a lot. I don't think you can see it in the weekly, can we? I think, I'm not sure, I haven't seen this chart, but I think there was a move from the upside, right? Or was this the low that went up? Okay, well, I don't, I don't know. Nobody is responding on this, so I don't know. You can start to look for some sell setups, I think. Yeah, some more sell is coming. It might be starting a very big downside. A very slow move to the downside, right? Because you already had a sharp move, a pullback. You're getting this. If you get another pullback like this, look for sells, right? Wait for one hour flag, four hour corrections. Four hour is mostly a correction. One hour is a flag. Will it crash in 2017? Possible. Uh, we don't we don't work in terms of time. I can't tell you in times of time when it can crash, but I can tell you whether the structure is preparing for a fast move to the downside. Right, that's what I can say for sure. That the structure looks downside. Whether it's going to crash, like you know, right now, tomorrow, one week from now, one month from now, no idea. From three twenty to twelve. Uh, you're talking about this one from 320 to 12 to 12 what to 12 dollar I'm not sure they're gonna do so fast it's gonna come down pretty slow when can I see your trades in Saxo I'm already trading there but it, the, the account is not connected to the um, to my profile as yet because I'm waiting for them to actually give me a new charting package so I can paste, I can post the charts out for you. I'm not sure whether I can connect the account because it's not my account, it's an investor account. So I might not be able to connect it. We're trading for a couple of days and we're in profit. I can tell you that much, right? We started trading it late last week, so. I can tell you some of the trades we had, and basically the same trades I'm actually calling here. You know, we were in the U Pong, New Zealand Pong, Oz, we closed all. We were in the yen trade, we took profit. We were in the which which other trades? Uh, one or two more trades where we took some profit. Uh, what is it? Let me see. Cadian. We looked at the Cadian already. You'll have to check the, the, the recording when I put it out. Uh, I don't recommend brokers, so I can't tell you where to open your account. That you, That's something you'll have to do. Do I regret banned from trading view? I never regret anything that happens in the past. No need. Here's, here's the deal. Uh, let me spend one minute on that if you allow me, right, in trading view. I try to avoid talking about it because I don't want people to have the impression that I'm here to, to, to you know, to bash them or to do anything. But while I was trading view, I was banned more than once. 
I was banned for a day, I was banned for a week, I was banned for a month, and then the permanent. But let me tell you why they banned me every time. Every time I was banned is because I came out to say to traders, guys, and I've said this to the admin, your platform is infected with a lot of spammers and a lot of scammers. And when I see somebody putting out something that is about to scam a lot of traders, I would go and put the chart and say, guys, be careful of these guys. They're scamming you. you re all of you remember the 100 free trades by one trader? Don't use the trader name. I don't want it to. But you remember that 100 free, tra free trade that never went anywhere? After 30 losses, he just disappeared. He scammed a lot of people and ran away. And then all of you remember the 1,000 free pips? I was banned for the first one. I was banned for the second one. And then the third one, another guy came out with some crap and I said, hey guy, that's a scam. Don't follow them. They banned me. So here's trading viewpoint of view. We don't care what nonsense trader posts here. They can be scammers. They can be you know, spammers. They can be whatever they want. As long as they post on our platform, we are happy. Because more traders, new traders will come in here and their, or their main thing is to attract new traders. They don't care if you win or you lose. I care for traders. And I, I have my personal reasons to care for traders and don't wanting people to lose money. I've been there. People traded my money and lost it. And I've been there and I know what it is. When you're, when you're not aware of what's going on and you're new and you want to learn and there are people trying to scam you. I paid $5,000 to learn support and resistance. If, I, if somebody had warned me then that, Please don't do that. Please, please, please don't pay $5,000 for that crap. I would have said thank you to that person. If somebody had told me, don't buy signals. I've never bought signals, but you know, I see people who bought signals and lost their account. If somebody had come out and said, don't do that. The people who were selling, you know how many, of, you know how many thousand people in trading view wanted me to sell signals? I mean thousands out of the 30,000. If I was selling signal, 10,000 people would be following me would be buying the signals. Here's what would happen. They would each pay me $100 a month. You can calculate, right? 10,000 by 100 a month. They will pay me. I will make that money if I wanted to make money. But guess what? They will not make money. I will make money. They will not. Because they will never make money using the signals I have. That's the, that's the reality. I have traders in my room sit with me when I take trades. And some of them can't click the trades, not because of bad trade. We took the punk ad this morning. I guarantee you that of 100 and something traders in the room, only about 20 or 30 of them click that trade. And these are people, they are not paying for this. They just sit there, they know me, they took the course, they understand everything we do, but not everybody trades every pair. Not everybody trades the same thing. Not everybody makes the same trade. Not everybody's prepared to, to, to do that psychologically. And that is why we keep them in the room and we teach them and we practice, we get them trained and we get them developed to that level where they become traders. I don't sell signals for that only reason is that I will get rich, but those guys will not make money. And that's on my conscience. I have to live with that. I don't want to live with that. Because there is some guy out there with a $1,000 account who's going to pay me $100, try to trade his $900. He's going to lose it. And then he's going to come blame me. I don't want to live with that blame. Out of the 400 and something traders that I have traded, I've kicked only four of them out of the room. And out of the four of them that I kicked out of the room, only one told me that he learned nothing from me. One out of 480 something, four of them I boot out. Nobody left my room like that. I boot them out for different reasons. Only one turned and told me he learned nothing from me. And because of me, he lost. One, and I actually boot him out well that when he said that, right? One single trader, I said to him, show me your account and I'll return you your money. I may even return you the money you lose. If you show me the account and you show me that you are following what I told you to do. No, I told him, this was my offer to him before I boot him out. Show me the account you lost. It's a $5,000 account he lost, no big deal. I said, show me the account. Show me every trade you do. I'm going to go through them one by one. And if you were actually following what I told, taught you, I give you back your money for the course and give you back your money for the account. He never did that. He refused to do that. I said, show me and I'll give you back. I'll willingly do that. He never, he never even took up the offer. And you know why he didn't take it up? Because he wasn't doing what I told him to do. He knew what he was doing was totally different. He was breaking all the rules I gave him to trade.
So it's, it's, that's the only reason I never actually traded Signal and TradingView. Although there were hundreds of people who asked me, please give me signals, please sell signals, I'll pay you for them. Some people were willing to pay up to like two, three hundred dollars for the signals. And I keep telling them, guys, if I give you signal, I will make money, you wouldn't. The reality is you wouldn't make money. I would be the only one making money. See, that's, that's my reason. So am I, do I regret doing what I did in TradingView? No. If I'm there in TradingView again, Right? If I was a trading view again and somebody started that crop and I would write again, this guy is trying to fool you. That's it. I would definitely, I will repeat the same thing again. That's it. That's just easy. So it's up to you traders and it's up to those in trading view now to decide if what, what is good for them and what they want to do. If, they have, if new traders in trading view are getting, they're not on me. I'm not there. Right? And if I'm not there, I'm not responsible. If I'm there, I'll take a responsible move. I will let them know. Why don't I open another? That's not me. You don't know anything about me if you think I will go open a fake account on TradingView. That when I open my account, you see my name and you see my picture. I'm not one of those who to open a fake account. Never. I told the TradingView people, I wouldn't be there on your, your site anymore. The owners of it. And I give them my view of what they should do if they really, really want to have a good site. Get rid of most of those people who are scamming you and, you know, and, you know, basically it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pity because I'm sorry for most of those guys there. You know how many people write me and tell me they, they follow this guy and they lost their account. They took this trade and they, they took this course from this guy and they don't know what to do with it. I get those letters. I get those messages often, but hey, that's life. So let's go. Let's go do what we are doing. You guys are here and that's good. If you can invite a friend, he will tell you thank you. All of you have a wonderful week. Trade with care, make money, and I'll see all of you next week. Right? Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.